So you want to know how to use Google My Business. Well, this is the video for you. We're going to see that Google My Business is really useful because most people these days are using the words near me or local to me in their searches when it comes to businesses, services and products. So you can see from that alone how important it is to rank on a local SEO basis for your business. And stick around near the end because I've got a real bonus tip for you that's going to help you to boost your reviews on Google My Business. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanac Design and I help small businesses and entrepreneurs build their business and their online presence when it comes to local business and local SEO. So if you haven't joined me before, then make sure you subscribe below and then you won't miss my next video. So how can we use Google My Business? Well, this is a real kind of basic tutorial for those that maybe have got a Google My Business listing or maybe you've tried to uh, improve it, but you've not really spent any time doing so. Or maybe you've just not seen the importance of why you'd want to use Google My Business for your business. Well, let's just consider just a few stats before we go into the real benefits of what this video is about. So here's what stat number one, that 900% increase has taken place on the phrase near me or local to me. So that's within the last two years, a 900% increase when it comes to those types of search terms on Google. Here's a second one. It's 46% of all local searches are for businesses that are near to them. And here's our third one. The 72% of all searches that were for local business ended up where they visited the business or service within five mile radius of where they searched from. So taking those three stats alone, you can see the power of ranking highly when it comes to local searches in Google My Business. So what is Google My Business? Well, Google My Business is a tool that Google's provided for the last few years. It's free. And the way it works is it basically lists your business on Google Maps. So if ever you search for a road in Google Maps, or you're looking for something near me, or you want to find out a nearby restaurant or a plumber, then you can go to Google Maps, you can type in a search, and local businesses will come up that are near you. Also, when you do a, a local search on Google itself, these businesses are also being found in the search terms. So ultimately, Google My Business is becoming a very clear way of being found when people just search on Google, yet alone Google Maps. So let's take some basics here then. First of all, how can you create an effective Google My Business listing? Well, first of all, you need to be clear on what would be the best a category to put your business in. If you're not sure, then have a look to see what other businesses are listing it under. Because there's a list of categories there. I also have a video that shows you how you can find out the hidden categories of your competitors. So it may be worth looking at that. Another thing is to make sure your description has a clear understanding of what your keywords are and uh, mentions the keywords throughout naturally as well. So if you're a plumber, then 24 emergency plumbing is certainly something you'd want to mention from time to time throughout your description. Uh, and also you can add various other things like posts is another way in which you can enhance the importance of your listing. So these are just things that really, the, the, the simple way to use Google My Business is to, to take it to own it, to claim it, and then make sure your business name, your location, your address, your description, all the basic things are filled in. And it is almost like a tick list. It will tell you how much you've done, how much you need to do still to complete your listing. Now, if you've done that, if you complete your listing, then you're well underway to getting your Google My Business found. But what else can you do? Well, let's have a look at a few more things as well on this video. So this is a reason why Google is uh, so useful when it comes to Google My Business and uh, your entry. For example, um, what if I just type into Google then, um, 
the dentist near me. So I'm looking for a dentist near me. I type in dentist near me and what comes up? Well, rather than just search results for those uh, websites that are optimized, you now have three dentists that are near me coming up. And in effect, most people are probably gonna click on one of these and then see on the map where it goes to. So whereas in the past you'd have just search results, you'll now notice this three pack that comes up, which we've done videos on in the past. But the reason why this is so important is that Google My Business, this is what it is. It is basically an opportunity for you to get a map entry and then to get it here in front of people that are typing in, they're not even typing in the name of the town, they're just typing in dentist near me or another one that sometimes people uh, type in is a dentist local to me. And uh, let's just see if that comes up. And uh, that one in effect didn't. So uh, what about a local dentist? There you go. So dentist local, and that comes up too, uh, with different results as well. So what we're saying here is that Google My Business, it, what it is, it's a business tool. And once you understand that and you see how it can benefit your local business, then you'll see the importance and the reason why people talk about it and the reason why I ask people to, to give me questions because it's constantly changing. This is now the new way in which Google's working with local businesses. So what you need to do is, uh, I mentioned creating an effective uh, Google My Business listing by using the description and keywords and so on. But I didn't really explain what I meant by that. So I've decided to try and show you. So once you've got your business and you've logged into it, you'll find that you then get this type of a uh, home screen and uh, you can uh, look at that. You've got an area where you can fill various things in and so on. But one of the areas that uh, you really need to go to if you're starting out, and this is what this video is really made for, um, that there is a, a nice tip at the end of it as well, is first of all, just notice the importance of making sure you have the right primary category. I can't stress that enough because that is the main thing that is going to affect your rankings in Google, being in the primary category and having the correct category. Secondary categories aren't so important, but you do need to make sure you got that right. If you're not sure, then uh, if you're, a, uh, say, well, we're looking at dentists, you'll notice that they put dental clinic, dental clinic, dental clinic. So if you're a dentist, you put dental clinic too. In the case of me being a web designer, then website designer is the one for me. And then really the, the simplest way to optimize your Google My Business correctly is to honestly answer everything that you can. So answer where your address is answer where it is that your services are for. So think of your customers. Answer when you open and close uh, and the days that you don't uh, open on. Uh, have the correct number and then just fill these things in, particularly the website. If you've got an appointment page on your website, put that too. Um, the services, again, all the services you do. And then the other thing we mentioned is just make sure you fill in this area here. Now you can have quite an amount of information in here. So uh, make sure you fill out all of that. And uh, I think it's how many words? 750. So I've used 745 out of 750. So fill that in with keywords, make it readable, but make it relevant too to your visiting customers. And uh, then you can uh, really know that you're doing your best there. Now, what other ways can uh, you, in a basic way, so this is, as I say, we've got plenty of videos that show you other things you can do once you've got these things in, in place. But in a basic way, what can you do to improve your listing? Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again, you need to keep posting regularly. That's the next thing. Uh, when you post, uh, just post information that's relevant to your customers. It doesn't have to be very long, but like here, I'm talking about website management, website consultancy. These are information, things that people are looking for in my area and give offers as well. So don't just make it a post, but have it so it's an offer, have it so it's uh, something that's relevant to your customers. You notice here you've got what's new, you've got events, you've got offers, you've got products. So you need to really fill these out as best as you can to enable people to start to see these things. And then another one you can do, of course, is add uh, photos, uh, add products, as we mentioned, add services as well. So the idea is really to try and think in terms of what 
the person that's looking for you is searching for. So for instance, at a dentist, if I'm a local dentist and I want to be found, then obviously I'm going to include things that are to do with dental information. So uh, I may mention the word local um, to my uh, in my listing um, because I know that I want to be found as a local dentist. I might use the words near me because I know that that will help me be found as well in Google My Business and that will be uh, perhaps help me to be a bit more prominent. So making sure that uh, you have uh, what people are actually searching for in your listing will help as well and that will impact the results. And then getting customers also to review you is uh, another thing as well. So if you notice on here on the home page, then when you've got customers, why not ask them then to review you? So you can get more reviews here and uh, ask them to fill in their reviews. Now, if they do review you, uh, and this is my kind of extra little bonus I want to give uh, to you, then if you've got good reviews, you can share that business. You can share it via WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, or via email. And that will show that I've got some good reviews, five star reviews there as a web designer. That's just a nice little thing you can do that's just come out from Google, that's one little tip. And another little bonus I wanted to, to just show you as well is if you have got reviews and you go to manage them as well, um, when someone writes a review, whether it's good or bad, always thank them for it. So this is my little bonus tip, always thank them. And when you thank them, try and use some key words. So for instance here, uh, I've used the word uh, business website. Uh, in this one, uh, thanking him for enabling me to do uh, to have a review from him. Um, here I've mentioned Bournemouth business because that's my local area. So that's another way of making sure that I'm getting keywords in there that show um, what I'm doing and uh, how I'm helping people. Here again, business in Bournemouth area, um, SEO results, professional businesses. Um, again, my reply but I'm putting in keywords here as well that tie in with what people are saying. And if you do that, if you if you can get things in like this, UI, de UI designs, um, what else I've managed to uh, do, uh, uh, design, any design advice, then these are great ways of just making sure that you stand out. So that's my kind of bonus little trick there to boost how you're viewed by Google by using those types of keywords. Now, there are, if you've already got your Google uh, listing, you've already got a good um, Google My Business listing, but you're just wanting to optimize it, then you're moving on to my next video. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So have a look at these 13 tips and tricks that are going to help you to now move on to improving the quality of your Google My Business.